Okay, we've got a scale drawing representing a garden, A, B, C, D, that's here. And one centimetre is two metres. And that's going to plant a tree in the garden. And it's going to give me some conditions. It's got to be closer to A than D. So the best thing to do is to put down all points which are exactly the same distance from both. Obviously, that could be one, could be right in the middle. But we really need to leave in our construction lines. Not least because it says it here. So we actually need to draw the perpendicular bisector of this. So put your compass onto A, open it up so it's about three quarters, and then draw an arc there centered on A, and then don't move it and draw the arc down there as well. Now put the point on D and do the same that way and here. And this, the, the line which goes through those will be the perpendicular bisector and every single point on that line is the same distance from A and D. It's got to be closer to A than D, so it's got to be on this side, so it's got to be up here up here somewhere on this side, above the line the next bit is got to be less than nine meters from c so that means i need to put the compass onto c and i've got to work out it's 4.5 centimeters i'll do it in red so 4.5 centimeters set it up to there and that will give me something like that that's centered on c 4.5 and it's got to be less than that so it's got to be inside the circle it's got to be above the blue line and so it's going to have to be here those are places where she could plant the tree, where she can plant it. Next thing, go back to blue. The circular flower bed in the garden, radius of the flower bed is 0.75. So I'm going to draw a circle, put the radius on there, and that's 0.75. And I've got to work out the circumference, that's all the way around the outside. Pi R squared sounds like area to me. When I need the circumference, I'll just use pi D. So I've got to do pi times the diameter, so it's pi times the diameter and diameter of course is the whole way across so it's 0 0.75 there so that will be 1.5 by times 1.5 and that equals 4.712388 etc so i'm going to call it 4.71 done that and now Anna's going to make a patio using concrete slabs each is a regular hexagon so a hexagon looks one two, three, four, five, six, like that. Explain why she can fit three of these together at a point. Well, I need to find out what that angle is there. And I know it's got six corners going around the outside. So the outside angles of those, each one will be 60. So each inside one is 120. So if I get 120 there, and that's 120, and that's 120, then that'll make 360, which will be good. So I would say interior angle of hexagon is 120 degrees, and 3 times 120 degrees equals 360 degrees, which is angles around a point. And I think that'll pretty much do. And strange question, uh, lots of little different parts to it, but that's question three done.